All right, I'm here with uh, Dana Gleason. He's the head designer at Mystery Ranch. We're here at Modern Day Marine, and Dana uh, got to help the Marine Corps out a little bit. With uh, we got to uh, do a little bit of work with uh, a version of uh, the design on the Marine Corps' new uh, pack system. So, what did you guys? What did what did you end up doing here? And, and how does this pack? Uh, well, the Marine the Systems Command defined that they wanted to have a pack that had a separate frame that was going to give much better airflow next to the back than the older internal frame they've been using. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this fairly obviously has some lineage going back to uh, the Molly development, but there have been some improvements that uh, we had an opportunity to suggest. Okay. Um, we've basically been able to take a look at the hip belt and build a hip belt with straps and buckles that pull forward the way your arms actually work. We've been able to build it so we've stabilized the whole system with a lumbar pad in back so the belt doesn't flop back and forth. The belt's actually a functional part of the pack now instead of there for looks. We also ended up using the same cover material the old Ilby belts had, which had a little bit of stretch to it that lets the foam here actually cushion instead of act like a number of little pebbles. So this, this looks pretty thin, but it's actually a pretty heavy duty. Yes, actually it's about two inches thick right behind here, and it locks directly to the frame so that it doesn't end up getting uh, loose and flopping around. Another of the more important things is that our friends at Syscom specified going to a buckle that's known as the uh, MQRB buckle, which is mostly metal, aluminum, and some uh, molded aluminum, built to give a very quick automatic detachment and comes together extremely easily as well. And putting in metal backup buckles in case you lose something or you have a catastrophic failure, there is a backup built in. Up on the shoulder harness to the pack. The plastic part of the frame ends right about here where my finger is. We have a little extension of plastic and fiberglass that's built so that when you pull the lifter straps tight, you're able to pull a certain amount of tension onto them and it moves dynamically with you. And it makes a huge difference for the amount of strain you're gonna feel on the shoulders. access to goodies or radio access right through the top with a number 10 zip technically called a ure zip which has urethane on the outside so it stays pretty darn waterproof one of the things that was retained from the ilby pack for the side panels but we put a larger pocket that could hold uh, up to liter water bottles or you can drop mortar rounds in there the bottom of the pack is enormous. This has been built so if necessary, the Arctic system can be shoved in here, complete. And access on both the outside of a lid and on the inside mm -hmm. with a mesh pocket so you can see what's in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something that's seriously different that uh, we had a hand in was building a real weather-tight shroud. Instead of doing many grommets going around and having the cord exposed to where you can always hang up on it, this has been built with a little bit of Kadura and the drawstrings contained within a double layer, so this actually gives a waterproof top to the pack. It always seems the packs end up with a waterproof bottom and it can fill right up. One of the other things that we got to build in that's out of our uh, Mystery Ranch bundle of tricks is something we call the internal load control strap. And this can go up and over however big a load you have. And you snap it to the buckle and then the compression there. Do not be gentle. If someone puts their boot here and reefs back, 
that will compress the load in much better than dealing with a draw cord. Mm -hmm. And it pulls the load thin. When you're used to the big old mountain rucks that got very large, that ended up putting the load far away from your back. Mm -hmm. It's still much better to have the load as close as possible. And this cinch really helps to do it in addition to the tailoring on the pack. Dana, what about the, uh, the frame on this pack? It's, a, it's an external frame. The Marine Corps wanted an external frame. The Marines know. wanted an external frame for a very good reason. Mm -hmm. Internal frame packs can carry wonderfully, but you have to load them extremely carefully to preserve their shape mm -hmm. and to preserve their flex. The external frames tend to give you a hard fixed shape and no matter what you load against that frame, it doesn't change shape against your back. We've been doing some external frames for many years, what we call our nice frame. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it is uh, one of its advantages has been the absolute resistance to the load changing the flex or the shape. And we have the same thing going on with the 1606 Down East plastic frame mm -hmm. that has been selected for this pack. Now this frame, is actually designed so it adheres to the profile of the Alice frame. Okay. And people who are uh, wild for the old Alice system can in fact uh, use an Alice in this, or a Nice, or the 1606 here. Mm -hmm. This has also been designed so the upper yoke to the pack, containing the shoulder pads and the lifters, mm -hmm. can be pulled off the frame or if the frame is damaged and insert it into the top of the bag so you have a secondary system for carrying the uh, whole load if you have uh, some kind of problem. Okay. So Dana, how is this pack different? It, it, it looks a lot like the, uh, I mean at first blush it looks a little bit like uh, the Army's Molly pack. Well this still has a plastic frame right. made by the same manufacturer as the Army Molly pack. Mm -hmm but it does not have the very heavy side rails and it is not as wide in the frame as the Molly is. Mm -hmm. And the pack itself is built so there is a certain amount of flex. You cannot do this with a Molly frame. And that flex also helps absorb shock. Okay. So there's a higher likelihood that this is not going to get broken being hurled off the back of a truck. 